Today we're going to be looking at how to search on YouTube, how to subscribe to channels, how to sort channels by their videos, how to add videos from channels to different or same playlists, edit these playlists, and share these playlists. So I'm starting this YouTube search with background music in mind for my classroom and I get an array of background musics. I'm feeling called towards this bossa nova one, and I'm feeling called towards this channel, Cafe Music BGM channel, 22,000 views in only three days. That's pretty great for this one video. So I'm gonna click on this channel, boom, and there's a subscribe button at the top of the channel. If I went back and I just click on the link of the video, this is fine, it's gonna instantly start playing, so I have to click my video to pause it, and I can click subscribe here. I can also access the whole channel from here as well. So I'm gonna click the whole channel again, and make sure it's subscribe, you know, help them get their followers. Click on the videos tab. Now they already have some playlists made, but I wanna make my own, so I'm gonna click videos. This will refresh to their whole library of videos. I want to sort this by most popular because I like the mainstream sometimes. And instantly I see a Studio Ghibli one. Well, I definitely want to add that to my playlist and maybe some happy jazz bossa nova and some coffee shop music. Forget the slow stuff. Let's go for it. So I'm in a two finger click or right click and open this one in a new tab. When I do that, it's going to instantly start playing. So click that video to pause it and you're gonna see a little plus option. Now I don't wanna do share. This is how I would specifically share this video with someone on Facebook or get the link, um, share it on Twitter, what have you. And you can actually pick your start times also. So if you click this, you can go to a specific moment in the video you want it to start on when you share it. It just changes the ending of their code right here. I don't wanna do that right now. I just wanna add this specific video to a playlist. Now, you can tell I've already got some background work music going, so I could click that. I can also create a new playlist, and this could be my classroom work background music. Oops, forgot to capitalize W. And I'm gonna make it public. I could make it so that it's unlisted, but you know, the more the merrier. Click create give it a few moments, and then I'll get an update that says it's been added. Now from here, I can check my playlists by clicking on the little icon that is you in the top right-hand corner. When I click on this, I get the option, several options, and I wanna click on the option of my channel. When I click on my channel, you'll notice that my new one that I just created, the new playlist is here, and also my background work playlist is here. I don't want to click the playlist because I don't actually want to listen to it right now. I want to click the view full playlist. This will give me my assortment. I could shuffle it, but I actually want to edit it for today. Now, the way I want to edit this is I want to add a description. So this makes it helpful if people are searching for certain things. I want to say for inquiry work in class because that's what we're going to use it for. The next thing I want to do is I want to play with my playlist settings. When you click on this, you get your basic options. Do you want to make it public, unlisted, private? Private is good is if you are doing maybe some read alouds with copyrighted material that you're not wanting to put public or it's just for your own personal use. Um, or, you know, copyright, it's not good. If it's just a private video that you want to share just amongst very small group of people, I'm going to make this public. It's the materials it's around. And now you actually have the option. Do you want your playlist to play in the order of the videos being most popular? Do you want it to just be manual? Like people just select and it goes or newest added to YouTube. Maybe the date it was published. I'm going with most popular. From here, you also have two other options, auto add. So this is where you can tag certain things that you want YouTube to search for and add to your playlist. 
for any of these certain rules, or you can add collaborators. So if you click this, you can make a list of people who you want to include in adding to this playlist. Now, I actually don't want a collaborator. I want it to be all about me. And I actually don't need to save anything because I've changed all these. From here, you can actually share your playlist by clicking the share option. And you get very similar options to what you would have if you were sharing just a basic video. The only thing is you can't put it at an exact time you want to share it at. Down here, it said the boxes allow people with the link to add videos. So this automatically makes them collaborators. So don't click it if you don't want them to collaborate.